My little watcher. On June 2nd, 1989, I was on top of the world. That was the day my daughter was born. It was also the day that I told myself that it was time to get my act together. I'd already blown with my firstborn. His mother and I, we didn't last very long after his birth, and I have to take responsibility for that. I guess I just wasn't ready to settle down then. Had I been, the outcome for him would have been a lot different, I'm sure. I was not around at all, not around to guide him, to nurture him, to teach him, not around to help him stay on the right track. But even without me in his life, he was still able to follow in his father's footsteps. He rebelled. He took the path of least resistance, which was with illegal behavior and illicit drugs, just like his father. So I'd made up my mind that I would not do the same to my daughter. I told myself I would not abandon her. I told myself she will learn from me the things a parent can teach their kids. I told myself that she will make the right decisions so she can move in the right direction in her life. I wanted to be a part of that. Well, that didn't work out as planned. Soon after she was born, I ended up in jail. All behind a drug that even on my best days caused me to make some of my worst decisions. She was so young at the time that I figured it wouldn't have an effect on her. When I came home, I was greeted by her. She was so happy to see me. Even though I was still strung out, I knew I could do right by her. A few years later, I went to jail again. This time, she knew Daddy was gone. We told her I was at work. That seemed to satisfy her for a moment. You see, her mother and I were hooked on meth. Our priorities were meth, our life was meth, our life revolved around meth. Everything we did was meth. We paid no attention to the fact that our daughter was seeing us as we really were, dysfunctional and addicts. We ended up going through a lot of changes, her mother and I. The fighting, the arguing, the infidelities, the lying, the sneaking around, you name it, we were doing it. And the whole time our daughter was growing up watching all this happen. We were blind to what she saw. It took many years to finally come around many years of nothing, nothing to show for, nothing to be proud of, nothing we did was good for our daughter at all. It wasn't long after and then we split up. Our daughter even saw that. She saw it all. I felt as if I had failed in the worst way. It sucks that I had to live with the idea that nothing I did as my daughter was growing up helped her to become the person she is. I wanted to be a part of her life and to have a positive influence on her. Fast forward to 2009 and not being a part of my daughter's life for the better part of the last 20 years. After coming home from another prison stint, I reunited with my daughter. She was so happy to see me and I to see her. We were getting closer and closer again. One night she called me and asked if I would buy her and her boyfriend some beer. There was no way I could say no to my princess. So on the drive to the store, we were, just, we were talking about things and the subject arose about her growing up. She went on to say how I felt, how she really felt. She was hurt because I wasn't there for her, like I should have been. She had resentment towards me and her mother for the neglect she felt from us. She had to more or less raise herself and that created a wall for her, a wall that we, her mother and I, were not meant to get over. She told me that it took some time before she was able to let us back in, and she eventually did. While she was telling me this, I couldn't help but feel really bad, upset even knowing that I was the reason my daughter was hurt and the reason she felt the way she did. After our talk, I apologized and we both hugged each other. She forgave me and thanked me for listening and letting her get it off her chest. One thing really struck me though. After I was no longer in my son's life, when he grew up, he res resorted to crime and getting high. As I said before, he took the road, he took because I wasn't there to guide him. That made me think, how was it that my daughter didn't take the same road I did? Sure, she smokes her weed and she has a drink or two, but she never got into the heavy stuff. She never used meth or coke or anything else, like I said, other than her little weed. She managed to stay away from it all, so I couldn't not know why. So I asked her, Princess, how come you never did the hard stuff? How come you didn't and don't use drugs? I was surprised at her response. She said, Dad, the reason I don't do the hard stuff like meth and whatever is because I saw what it did to you and Mom. I watched it tear you apart and ruin all you hold dear. I watched for years the deterioration of our family and I could never go through that. 
or be the cause of that. So no way in hell. Well, I was taken aback after she said that. I was so proud of her and thankful to hear from her, her reasoning and her logic. So as messed up as this may sound, and believe me, this sounds pretty messed up, but my shortcomings, my actions, my screw ups, my mistakes, my addiction, my overall blowing it at being a good dad produced one good thing, a daughter who knew what not to do. She knew that doing bad things could cause problems and how the outcomes of bad decisions could turn out. She witnessed the perils of all those things by witnessing them firsthand through her parents. She was not going to make those same mistakes and end up like us. So one thing I can take from this is that my daughter and I are closer than ever. And because I was such a screw up, she never will be. I guess I was able to teach her something after all, able to help her make the right decisions. By not being there then, she is where she is now because of that. She was watching and learning for her future. And in a messed up way, I feel like I helped. And how messed up was that? I guess I was being watched by her after all.